And while this isn't the same time of the day, it was roughly the same conditions. It was a clear day, early afternoon. This is later afternoon. The car does a good job of slowing down for these turns. This is something fairly new. With version 10, it seems to be much better at slowing down in advance of a sharp turn. And see, right there, I don't know why the car took me out of autopilot, but it did. And so I'll put it back in autopilot. So, again, this is one of the things about being in beta is you need to understand that the car isn't always going to do what it's supposed to do. Obviously, it was confused by that car over there, and on the previous run here, now it wants me, I don't know if you noticed, it wants me to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull over here actually and stop and try to re-engage. I'm gonna try and just actually stop, stop, put it in park. And so there was two things that happened there that I really didn't like. Um, and that transition there was another potential problem on the first one where I had a Spectrum truck on my right. And in this case, I had a car on my right. And that car was coming into the lane. The Spectrum truck was kind of coming into the lane. It was kind of like cramping my lane. Um, in this case, the car took itself out of autopilot and you heard the beeps and one of my cameras actually disappeared because it fell because it was too sharp of a angle and so now let's see if I can get that restored I've got this whole beanbag thing and All right, so I'm, I'm going to park the car because I don't know if you've noticed this. If you do have a problem with autopilot uh, and maybe, for example, you don't engage the wheel when it wants you to, it'll take you out of autopilot and leave you out of autopilot for that whole trip. So in this case, I'm going to park it, open my door, lift my butt up, close my door. Now the car thinks. All right. I'm ready to go again, and I'm going to navigate on autopilot again. I've seen three threes pass me while I've been here. And since I'm on an exit, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to be taking this exit. But, whoops.
now it wants the force. And again, I've told it, don't require my confirmation. So why is that? This happened the exact same way the last time too.